Welcome to our video introduction of the two ton per day liquid oxygen and nitrogen modular plant. The system is available in either a two or a five ton unit. The plant is designed for commercial or military applications where oxygen and nitrogen plants are not required to relocate on a regular basis. Michelle Allen from our engineering department will discuss the plant more in detail. Hi, I'm Michelle Allen. I'm a senior engineer here at PCI. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about the two ton per day liquid oxygen and nitrogen generating plants. The system works by first compressing the air, then using a series of filters to create clean, dry air, then separating the air into liquid nitrogen or liquid oxygen through a process of liquefaction and distillation. I'll get into each of these processes in a little bit more detail. The first major component in the system is the air compressor. The air compressor draws in air at ambient pressure and compresses it to about 140 psi. After coming out of the air compressor, the air goes through a series of filters, a water separator to remove moisture, some coalescing filters to remove particulates, and then a carbon tower to remove oil vapor. From there, the air goes into a 500 gallon receiver tank. The receiver tank acts as a buffer to ensure that the adsorption beds receive a smooth flow of air. From the receiver, the air enters the RPSA module, which is PCI's patented rapid pressure swing adsorber technology. This system consists of three adsorption beds that cycle at high speed, one on stream at pressure, and the other two off stream, being regenerated or depressurizing or repressurizing. PCI's adsorber system modules are designed to remove moisture and CO2 to levels of less than 3 parts per million by volume. The RPSA also removes carbon monoxide, numerous hydrocarbons, nitrous oxide, and other atmospheric contaminants, further enhancing the smooth operation of the process and the purity of the nitrogen and oxygen produced. The purified compressed air now enters the cold box where it will be turned into liquid nitrogen or liquid oxygen. Some of the process air goes through a turbo expander, where the pressure drop creates a cold gas that is used to cool the remainder of the air. The rest of the air is chilled through heat exchangers. Because of the different boiling temperatures of oxygen and nitrogen, oxygen starts to condense out of the air first. It is further purified through distillation columns to produce pure liquid oxygen. When nitrogen production is selected, the gaseous nitrogen is further cooled to produce pure liquid nitrogen. The system is modular and designed for easy transportation and quick setup. The plants are offered with fully automatic control for liquid oxygen or liquid nitrogen production. The plant operation is controlled by a reliable solid state PLC with a touchscreen computer for user interface. Please give us a call if you'd like any more information. Thank you, Michelle. In summary, the modular plant can be assembled and fully operational in less than two days. On behalf of all of us at PCI, thank you for your interest in our products.